Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look at what I've got. So I seen this was new. I had to get it because it's new. Two chicken breast quarter pounders made with 100% chicken breast. Crispy rice coated. So the quarter pounders and there's a serving suggestion. Now these were one pound and 85 pence. So let's have a look at the packaging. There is the nutritional information. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. Per quarter pounder oven baked, 276 calories. And beside them are the ingredients. We've got a few allergens in there. We've got barley, wheat, celery, and mustard and soya. Chicken breast, 48%. Have a look in there. Is there any more bad ones we've got? Warning, although every effort has been made to remove all bones, some may remain. Why does it say made with 100% chicken breast if it's only 48% chicken breast? Made with 100% chicken breast means we only use breast, chicken breast. The other 52% relates to other ingredients such as the coating. Well, that's cleared that up. Any more information? Let's have a look, it says here, look. A little bit of spiel about it. Crispy rice coated two chicken breast quarter pounders. Fully cooked, chopped and formed chicken breast with soya protein in a crispy bread crumb coating with rice flakes. Packed for Iceland foods. Island. Um, ways to cook, look. You do it in the oven, fan 180, gas 6. 32 to 34 minutes or you can air fry it from frozen look obviously according to your size of your air fryer you you know do the times accordingly and the heat settings let's get these open have a look at these i've done a comparison actually between these not these ones sorry because these are the new but i did some um, Aldi ones, yeah, Aldi ones. If you want to check that out, it'd be in my comparison playlist. I think they were they were Aldi, and I think they were Aldi versus Bird's Eye. Oh, and, it, and massive savings to be had as well. There really was not a lot in it. There we are, rice crispy coating. I wonder if we get a snap, crackle, and pop. Mine's going in here. If you like this kind of a video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe um, consider subscribing to the channel. That does help and it's free. Let me know if you've had these before as well. Like I say, I've got some playlists, um, comparison playlists. Go and check them out. There's a lot of savings to be had in this. Again, I've done sort of name brands versus cheap brands and you'll be very surprised at the, you know, the quality of the cheaper brands and there's a lot of, a lot of money to be saved. It's crackers, it really is crackers. Right, I'll bring you back in another 19 minutes and 12 seconds. I've got a couple of birthday cards that have come late, but never mind, better late than never. And, and this one made me chuckle. It really did, have a read of that one. It's done. Have a look at that, see what you think. I did it for 20 minutes. Turned it over after 10 minutes at 180 on the bake setting. What I'll do, I'll try it as it is. I'll just cut the bottom bit off or the end bit. Well, there's no end bit really, it's round. And I'll try it and I'll show you inside and then I'm gonna assemble and make a burger because that's how you're supposed to eat it. And I'm gonna use this, Frank's Red Hot Wings Buffalo. That is lovely on chicken, it really is. I've got some mayonnaise and I'm going to have some lettuce as well. But first things, first things first, <laughs> I've had the thermometer in as well and it's up to temperature. It's up to eating temperature. Have a look in there. 
Turn that round, let me get a bit, a bit of light for you. Have a look. So it's chopped and reformed chicken breast, isn't it? You bear that in mind. It's absolutely, I tell you what, it's gonna absolutely thrash it down. It's, the sky's gone so dark over there. Got the light on, haven't I, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's crispy. It really is crispy. It's well seasoned as well. Doesn't need no more salt. It's, it's okay. It's all right, that. Very crispy. With them, them rice krispies have gone sort of them, because um, I've done it in the air fryer. I've done it on the bake set in mine, but they've gone crunchy and crispy and I don't, li I don't mind that. It's a nice bit of a texture that it adds. These are a loving here. I know I did a comparison. If you want to go and check that, it would be my comparison playlist. And I got a lot of comments saying they love it and a lot of comments saying they hate it. It's just one of those things. It's a bit quirky, rice, you know, rice sort of crispy coating, but yeah, I, I like it. It does work for me. I'm going to assemble the burger now. I don't know why I always get, I don't know why I get a small plate out. You always go big, don't you? Always go big. And I've got a brioche bun and I had a revelation. I've had a toaster for years and years and it's got it's got a bagel setting on and got a lovely comment saying if it's got a bagel setting on, put it in. I didn't have a clue what it I've never I don't eat bagels, so it only does one side. An absolute revelation. Thank you very much for that comment. I'm gonna put some mayonnaise down on this side. I'm gonna put my burger on. And I'm going to be controversial. I'm going to do it like the old, as it as it is on the box. I'm going to put my. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm going to I'm going to put some of this on. I do like this. I'm only going to put a bit on. It's going on. It's actually it's going to go on here. It's quite tasty. It's not too hot, but it really it does work with chicken. I'm going to put my lettuce on now. You can put cheese on here as well, can't you? You can do what you like. Look at that. <laughs> Wow, I'm going healthy with the old lettuce. Might have gone overboard there. And thank you, Susie, for the card. Do appreciate it. I'll set my camera up here and I'll just stand back and I'll get into it because I think it's going to be messy. It really is. Have a look at that. See, we're going to see what this is all about. This is how the... That's how it is on the box. Look. So we'll... We'll, we'll give it a good shot. I mean, I, I'll be honest, I, I like them. I do like them. And with the obviously this buffalo sauce and the mayonnaise, I'm just putting the lettuce in for sure, to be honest. But I suppose I'm getting um, some healthy vegetables in me, aren't I? Which is always, it's starting to rain. Yeah, I knew it was going to rain. God, it was lovely and sunny this morning as well. Mmm. Oh, it does go. I like it. It really does. Where's the spiel about it? Chopped and formed chicken. We said that, didn't we? Soya protein. With a soya protein. Why do they put that in? If you know why, why they do, please let me know. Crispy breadcrumb coating with rice flakes. It's, it's tasty, it really is. The chicken's... It is chicken, isn't it? Rice, chicken breast, yeah. It's quite dark as well inside the chicken. I thought it'd be a bit more whiter than that. Mmm. I like it. I mean, stick some cheese on top. And you've got an even a bit bigger winner. I tell you what, I could have put on as well. God, I never thought. I've got some um, onion ring hash browns that I got from Iceland. Have a look at that review. Be my Iceland playlist. Could have done one of them. A couple of them. 
hash brown onion, with the hash brown onion rings they were, yeah, that's right. And some cheese. I got some cheesy hash browns as well that I did from Iceland. Could have put them on. <laughs> you can do all sorts, can't you, with it? You really can. I think what it needs, though, it needs some more buffalo sauce. So that's what I'm going to do. But I'll spare you that. I'd like to say thanks to everyone who's joined the channel recently and in the past. I, I always say this because... It's important because you lovely people out there watching make the channel. Obviously, if it wasn't, if you weren't watching, there'd be no one watching, would there? I'd be talking to myself. So I have to say thank you to, to yourselves. Um, I'm also going to go live. I don't know when. I'll keep you posted in the videos prior to me going live. It'll be on a Friday or a Saturday. I would say more than likely a Friday in the foreseeable future. I can't give you a date, unfortunately, but... John um, has been asking me when I'm going to go live, and I can't answer that question. Thanks to everyone who's joined the membership as well. You know, I do appreciate it, I really do. Right, I'm going to enjoy this, I'm going to stick some more sauce over it, and I'm going to finish it off. I could, you could do a comparison with that, couldn't you, against the one in Aldi as well, and Birdseye. But I've already, I've already covered that ground. But let me know what you think. It's a 7 out of 10. Yeah. So take care. All the best. And I'll catch you on the next one.